Vice President Pakwiti Bekwe and Mr. Arthur was today laid to rest at the military cemetery at Airport Hills in Accra. We asked you to share your last words to the former Vice President. What I would say is Ghana has lost a gem. He was a hero. And judging from various tributes that came, uh, it shows that seriously he was a very good man. Anybody that has worked with him before or worked under him gives us a very sound and uh, something that we could learn from. And I'll say, may God keep him um, safe in his bosom um, of him. And uh, there are a lot that current generation will need also to learn from our, from our vice president. We appreciate whatever he did for Ghana. Him being a vice president, I mean, for a governor to vice president is an achievement, and I wish his family I mean, well. My condolence to everyone who knew him and whole Ghanaians. We appreciate whatever he did for us. I love that man so much because of his motivational words whenever he comes on telly to speak. So we celebrating here as he goes to sleep well, and then we pray that may his soul rest in perfect peace and we'll meet one day. So people have been pouring in the last words for the late vice president on Facebook too. Let's check it out. All right. So Silabia Adi, from all the tributes poured out to you, we are left to know that, that you were an exceptional politician, one who did politics with a sense of decency and decorum. You have proved to all your compatriots that we can rise above the kind of shambolic politics we have become accustomed to these past years in the Fourth Republic. We have left. You have left a legacy that will mark the way our politics, political class behaves moving forward. RIPP, PKBAA, Yakub Weibing Chamba says, the venom from Miss Matilda was understandable, and she was completely overwhelmed by the demise of her sweetheart, but Miss Matilda uh, should have tamed her tongue in no uncertain terms. She can let go the quality of your hard-won reputation in a split second. NEC needed Ms. Matilda's kind of venomous exuberance prior to the 2016 elections. So Obama focuses a treachery, hypocrisy, mischief, insult, and name-calling a hazard of the game called politics. Even in the advanced jurisdiction like America, politicians do worse things. Politics is not a game for the gentle. And uh, Sir so Obama Pukwase says himself, Matilda and Mr. Arthur's berating comments was needless. And Anaman Respi says he was a true Ghanaian and a politician who was cool but delivered well. The change of his name from William Davidson and Mr. Arthur to Pakwisi Bekwe and Mr. Arthur made him a true African. And Emmanuel Chigabati says, may he find rest in the caring arms of the good Lord. Lagos GH says, we will forever remember you daddy may the good lord grant you a peaceful place and panthea philip says rest in the bosom of our father abraham till we meet again and a lot more is on whatsapp it says um ns says he was a great man and we have this one it says what what the woman did is the best you don't praise someone when he or she is dead and this one coming from Rashid from Wa, he says, this is a, an honest politician. Everyone must emulate his examples. Rest in peace. Your legacy <coughs> will forever live. And this one, uh, you didn't add your name. He says, I think what the wife of the former vice president said is true because she knows what her husband has been passing through. And this one uh, from Charles from Nadoli, he says, uh, His Excellency, the late former Vice President, was such a super gentleman who didn't see the need to insult his political opponents, but rather shared his varied opinions in a very sincere manner, and all political players must emulate him in order to bring sanity into our body politics. After all, politics is about contributing divergent views and policies, not insults. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. And this one, okay, and this one is coming from Sir Obama Pukwasi. Okay, I think we've read the uh, same message on Facebook. And Mohammed Ibrahim says, we wish him well as our vice president, but the wife, okay. Those are some comments 
on WhatsApp. Also, it appears the wife of the late Vice President Matilde Nisa Atta had the most powerful tribute. Take a listen. Over the last few weeks, I've been amazed at the number of people who have come to show us love. And I ask myself, is this Ghana? Are all these people in Ghana? Because the maligning, the lies, the treachery, the... It appears uh, her comment has been trending on Facebook. Let's uh, read some of them. And... Um Okay, so let's listen to what people are saying on the street, then we can bring the uh, messages on Facebook. I think that it's high time we expose certain hypocrisy uh, among the Ghanaian populace because you can't be jabbing the person and the person dies and you want to cry more than the bereaved and suddenly the person becomes your favorite. Mrs. Matilda did what I was expecting her to do. It was a thing in the right direction, exposing the hypocrisy and an aspect of certain Ghanaians. So I think it was a fair comment from her. If you, if you listen to the things the NPP, uh, Maparichikis, uh, to quote the speaker, <laughs> said about Papa Kwesi Misata, um, similarly what they said about the late, um, the late president, um, 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 Atamas, you know, um, it's always like that. Human beings are always like that. Um, they will not know you well, but they will say what they, they, <laughs> they, they, they think about you or like about you. And when you're gone, when you're not there to say what they are saying is a lie. Mostly, and that is the characters of uh, most people. It is when you are dead and gone before people see a whole lot of good things about you. But I also see it this way. Um, our past presence, He's a very hard-working man, but the, the negative, or what I think was wrong about him was that he was too dull and too cool to be a politician. All right, let's see what you've been saying on Facebook. All right, so this video was posted about some 10 hours ago. And uh, it's had uh, what 1.4 1,400 uh, reactions, 786 comments, and 1,700 shares. And that's what I mean by this is trending, and it's trending all over. Let's just read some of the comments that have come in. Uh, so uh, Ghana Niji says, I don't understand all the negative comments. When someone so dear to you has a genuine heart and yet people malign him so much, it's so painful. Even more painful when the same people pretend to be so appalled by his passing. I genuinely feel her pain. I pray it never happens to any of you, hypocrites. Rest easy, sir. Thank you for your service. Take heart, Madam Mimisa. And uh, Abna Nyako says, or call somebody to come check it out. Yao answer says, well, Mama, you've hit right. And uh, Mameya says, Mad Madam Kafra, I feel your pain, but I could say I wasn't necessary because your husband knew what he was getting himself into politics, dear Sa, Sa, Auntie, and yes, she. Probably that's what you want to say. Kofi Ken, I said, John Brady's speech looks like he was. Okay. Frank Sunsum says, yes, your husband has died. It is painful. Yes, the former vice president has died. It is painful. We all feel the pain of losing a leader but flashback your husband was the governor of bank of ghana and um, all right those are some comments on facebook the lab bright says oh. and gala madison says madam your husband came to crew <laughs> and then okay so let me pick some comments on face um on whatsapp and aziz don lat says um, political hypocrisy must stop in this country. The same man was castigated, vilified, and was called names by political opponents. It's about time we change our politics. And um, this one, you didn't add your name. He says, may his soul rest in perfect peace. And of course, from all of us here at Multimedia, we, we, we wish the family well.
and may he so rest in the bosom of the Lord. Let's check out this night because Israel is itching to go to the Soho Bar and, you know, do some tiki tiki. You yeah, know. But the second national corporate <laughs> jam is going down. I'm quite jealous because unfortunately I can't be there. But earlier we spoke with some people in the newsroom and they told us their expectations are high. Let's hear them. I can't miss that for anything. The first edition I was there, it was absolutely lit. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually cannot wait. What are your expectations? A lot of fun. I mean, a lot of people are going to be coming around. Uh, I expect, you know, some of the jams, do the dance, um, CCTV, wish me well by my favorite artist, Kwame Eugene. Do ye be a knee, Papeka? My God, be my provider. Uh, even my protector. So what they go, uh, yeah. 705, I'm rapping live. What do you say? You know how we do it. Play, wale, wale. What do you say? Shout out to my gringo. Bingo, dingo, ingo. All the Shatawale tracks, you know. I just want to hear it there. I am ready to jump! Woo! For me, just to make, I mean, have fun, have fun, have fun. You know what I mean by that? Every jam be jam, every DJ be DJ, and our DJs are good, you know what I mean by that? Let them just give me something that I can forget about. In the edition we're there, we made it happen, and it's going to happen tonight, so you need to be there. If you're not going to be there, I don't know where you're going to be, because the stress is too much. Let's go and pull up the stress. My expectations? My expectation, I mean, definitely, the DJs are just going to do what they're supposed to do. Well, I don't have any bigger expectations, because I know what they're going to do, because I'm part of them, I know what they're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> but I also want them to play um, It's Coming Down. Okay. It's Coming Down. It's a gospel track, actually. That's what you, you expect. <laughs> yeah, but it works, it works, it works fine. It's just going to get everybody else jumping. Okay, so if you missed Israel's test at the bridal fair, <laughs> bridal fair meet him there. He'll show you where power lies. Let's check out our video of the day. All right, so uh, time is up. We can take that video. We'll take it another time. My name is Aisha Prime. It's a Friday. Chill, but don't freeze.